After you've saved the day, you can go to the cycle shop to pick up your free bicycle. But before you do, Cynthia's gonna interrupt you, and she's gonna give you a present. Um, she's gonna give you a Pokemon egg. Now inside of that Pokemon egg, when it hatches, which will take eh, a little bit to hatch, maybe just run around town if you want, it hatches into a Togepi. I'm gonna spoil it for you, sorry. But, um, just in case you're trying to plan your party out. So, I don't know, I'm probably not gonna use it, but I'll keep it in my party because I don't really have anything else in there. Um, so you must take the latest model of the bicycle. So you get the bicycle! It's the latest model. So, uh, now that you have the bicycle, head south and, um, you'll be able to go on Cycling Road. You need to make sure you're on your bicycle. Before you go, talk to this guy right here. This guy is, uh, Dawn's father. He's also Rowan's assistant. And if you've seen, I think at least 40 Pokemon, maybe it's 30, something like that. As long as you've been fighting every trainer so far, you'll be able to get an experience share from this guy. And that's a very helpful item for training up your other Pokemon. Because it means you don't have to switch back and forth between them. Um, okay, down on Cycling Road, there are a bunch of trainers to fight. So let's take a look at some of them. Cyclist, Cyclist Axel here has a Pikachu. Watch out, it has a the static Pokebody, which means if you're hitting it with like a direct attack, you might get paralyzed. I know for a fact I did get paralyzed and I just had a ride back. Heal that paralysis, it's a pain. Uh, let's see... Cyclist Megan, she has a Staravia. Well, as a matter of fact, I have a Staravia too. But I think mine's better than hers. Um, this trainer here, down a bit. Hey, Megan, watch out, you, or do you want to battle? I want to battle! Cyclist James, he's got a Ponyta. Level 21, fire type. Not a good matchup for Maryland there, but oh well. Uh, gone a bit further. Can't let you get the better of me. Got another cyclist. Cyclist Nicole, and she got three Pokemon on her. She has Starly, level 17. Not really that impressive. She got another Starly, level 18, which is marginally more impressive. And one final Starly at level 19. That bike you got there, you sure gotta love it. Or you gotta love it. Sure I'll battle ya. Sure I'll battle ya. Cyclist John, he's got two Pokemon. He's also got a Starly at level 18. But he also has a um, Staravia. So we'll see how this Staravia and my Staravia get along. That one's only level 20 though. Um, down these tube kind of things with the over the thing, or whatever, the roof thing that looks so cool. We'll find Cyclist Ryan. He's got a Shinx at level 21. Almost at the bottom. Almost. Which kind are you? See, I told you there were a ton of trainers here. Cyclist Rachel has a Ponyta level 20, and she also has a Shinx at level 18, so it's weaker than the Ponyta. Okay, almost there. If you beat me, you can count on something rotten coming your way. Jeez, how mean. Don't be a sore loser now. <laughs> Cyclist Kayla has a Pikachu as well, so... Again, watch out for that uh, static Pokebot. After beating her, you'll finally be at the bottom. You can talk to this girl here, and she'll give you a flag. It's a Pokemon accessory for dressing up your Pokemon. Anyway, moving along on Route 206 now. Or maybe this is 207. Yeah, it's 207 now. 206 is really short if you just go south. We'll explore 206 later. Don't worry. But uh, on 207 here, you'll find some more trainers. This youngster, Austin, he has a Weasel at level 18. He also has a Gligar, which is pretty cool. It's a new Pokemon you can see in Platinum. You have to wait till the National Record 4. He's got a Luxio. Here's a Hiker. 
sort of down south on the route, south and east, sort of. Wow, he's got a lot of Pokemon. Level 17 Geodude. Another Geodude. Level 19. Oh, wow, another Geodude. How exciting. Level 17. Oh, an Onyx. Okay. Just for good measure, right? Um, down beneath that hiker is a revive, which you might want to get these early on so you can't buy these yet. Uh, here is a battle girl. Okay, okay, let's be quick about this. You're sounding like Barry for a minute there. Helen's got a chop at level 21. But you should know the drill. And uh, Metatite, which is a little less commonly seen, but still easy to deal with. Um, let's see, down here, this is actually on the end of the route, unless you took that southern route and just jumped down. There's another hiker waiting for you. Hiker Justin, he has, surprise, a Geodude. And, um, let's see, I'm actually going to show this, this is kind of funny. No way is my Star Avia going to fight this Geodude, I know that much, so I'm going to switch. But look at what this little punk did. I switch over to Maryland, my rotal there, and then BOOM! It just blows up in my face! Yeah, what a jerk. I hate it when they do that. <laughs> anyway, he also has a nose pass on his team, which is a rather unusual looking Pokemon. Um, these two trainers here, a camper and a picnicker, you can fight them in a double battle. If you walk between them, they'll both fight you at once. But like I said, I like to take them out one at a time. Just because I can. Anyway, he has a Chimchar at level 22. And this girl here, what does she have on her team? She has a Pachirisu. Level 22. Um, okay, now I'm actually going back to Orberg Gate. Since you're on 207, Route 207, you can like get to Orberg really easily. So while you're down here, now that you have Rock Smash on your bike, you can pick up TM70, which is Flash, and then you can hop over these ramps. Repels effect, repels effect wore off. Yeah, I wouldn't have figured. I'm just cutting that fight. You can also get TM31, which is Brick Break, and that's a great fighting type move to teach your Pokemon. Anyway, what, right as you're about to uh, enter Mount Coronet, Dawn will appear, or Lucas if you're playing uh, uh, as a girl. But she'll give you the VS Seeker. And she'll also give you the Dowsing Machine. Just like she did in the old games. It's just she's a little later this time. Right outside of Mount Coronet. Normally she'd appear right on Route 206. Route 207, right at the beginning of Route 207. Bang. See ya. Anyway, now we can head inside Mount Coronet here. And uh, just as always, Cyrus is there. He's as creepy as always. He just walks up to you and he's now really chatty. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, talk, talk, talk. Yeah, he's still talking just as much nonsense as in Diamond and Pearl. It's just this time you've seen him before, so you think he's even more of a weirdo. Yeah, see ya, buddy. So outside of Mount Coronet, we got even more trainers. If you beat me, will you share food with me? No, I don't think so. Hiker Jonathan. Jonathan's got an Onyx! Okay, it's either Geodude or Onyx or... I did see that nose pass back a while ago. Maybe the pattern's changing. Up here, this Karate Man's going to pulverize me. Uh-oh. Not good. Black Belt Kyle. He's got him a chop. Level 23. Try and pulverize it before it pulverizes you. Got it? Over here we've got another hiker. Gah, you're just a little kid. How are you supposed to beat a big man like me? The big man on campus now. Hiker Robert. He's got a nose pass. Ah, see, it's not a Geodude or an Onyx. Go look at that. That's amazing. So we're almost at hard home. Only two more trainers, I think. This girl here is going to enter a contest, but she wants to battle now instead. She has two Pokemon on her team. One is a Roselia, which you've probably seen enough of. 
and the other something you might not have seen just yet. She's got a, uh, a combi on her team. So make sure you fight her, because you might need to see that for your uh, Pokedex. This guy down here, this artist, he wants to battle you too, and he's got two Pokemon that you probably haven't seen yet either. He's got a Mime Jr., which is uh, Mr. Mime's baby evolution thing, baby form. And he also has a Barn Slide, which is Pseudo Widow's baby. Now this guy, right on the bottom of the, uh, the root, you talk to him and he'll give you an odd keystone. And that's involved in getting um, your spirit to you. That's later on. Anyway, we're almost at Heart Home City. Almost about to get our next badge.